Yo yo, it's Yurk, and today I'm bringing you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a fully functioning television in Fortnite Creative. You guys all told me in the comments of my last video that you really wanted a tutorial for this, and you also said you wanted me to make a news channel for the TV as well. So I'll be teaching you guys how to set that up as well. But before we get started, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do and all that stuff. And if you want to support me, you can use code YurkYT in the item shop and it really helps me out a lot. But now let's get back to this tutorial. So before we get started setting it up, I need to explain how the TV works and how I got it to work to make it make sense. The TV is a bunch of matchmaking portals that are all laid on top of each other that are set to turn on and off in a sequence. To make your own scene, you need to have a supporter creator code that allows you to publish islands, but don't worry, if you don't have publishing rights, you can still make either of the TVs that I'm going to show you how to make in this video. Here's what I had to do to make them. First, I had to create my base character, or the main thing I was going to be making move throughout the video, so I used these props to create this basic character. Then I had to go through and make minor adjustments to make all the different movements that I wanted the character to do throughout the video. So I had to copy the character and paste it down and then adjust the limbs of each position that I wanted it to use. Now that I have my character in all these different positions, I had to create the scene where the video is going to take place. Because I'm doing a boxing video, I made a boxing ring and arena using the stage gallery. Now that that's ready, I needed to find something that was going to be constant or not move the entire video as an anchor point. So for this video, that would be the ring. So I'm going to copy the ring and place it down for each frame that I want to have in my video. Then I'm just going to copy and paste the characters that we made earlier and place them on the ring and each ring I make the character move to the next pose that I want it to be in and you want to do this for every single frame until you have your entire animation and it looks something like this. Now we're going to copy the character and the ring and move it over to the arena that we made earlier. I just want to paste the first frame into this ring and then I'm going to head to my island settings and I want to set up the camera for the island image. Once I have my camera in position, I save it and then I published the island and wrote down the code and went back to the hub. Then I just duplicated the island. Then I went in and I deleted the characters from the first scene and replaced them with the characters from the next ring that I set up earlier. Then I went into the island settings and set the image again, but when setting the image, the camera is already set to the exact position that we were in in the last one, and we don't want to move it at all, so we just set the image and republish. You have to do this over and over and over again until you finish your video, and then you end up with a bunch of codes and it's really confusing, but don't worry, now we're going to get into how to set it up, and I made it super easy for you guys. So in order to do this, you're first going to need a matchmaking device, which is unreleased, but if you don't have one, you can get one really easily by joining our Discord and asking someone with the matchmaking helper role to add you and give you one. Once you get one, it's really helpful and we can all get one and make our own TVs if you guys just return the favor and help out somebody else that's looking to get one. To make things super simple, I created a Google Sheet with all the codes in order for each of the TV channels. So just click the link in the description and then you're going to type in the code for matchmaking device one of either channel that you want to make. Just in case you guys forget, the sheet also tells you all the settings for all the devices that you need to set up. So for the first matchmaking portal, we're just going to type in the code for matchmaking device one and that sheet also tells you which channel you need to set it to enable on and disable on, but it's super easy. It just goes in order. So matchmaking device one enables on channel one and disables on channel two. Then matchmaking device two enables on channel two and disables on channel three and on and on. And you're just going to keep repeating this process going down the line, typing in each code into its own matchmaking device and setting it to enable when receiving from the channel and disable when receiving from the channel that is listed on the sheet. Then once you have all of your matchmaking portals set up, you want to get a TV prop from the Frosty Flights prop gallery and resize it to be the same size as your matchmaking portal. Then you want to set it up right behind where you want your TV to be. And then you're going to move each matchmaking portal over and make sure you lay them all right on top of each other so they all overlap. Then you need to go to the devices tab and you need to grab a sequencer and a trigger. Place down the sequencer and open up the settings and depending on how fast you want the TV to go, you want to set the tempo to anywhere between 6 and 30. Then set it to activate on game start 
and start when receiving from channel 100. Then we're going to place down a trigger inside the music sequencer zone and set it to channel 1. Copy and paste the trigger, but you want to leave a little bit of space between each trigger, but each time you place a trigger, you want to change it to the next channel. Depending on which TV channel you're making will determine how many triggers you need. For the boxing one, you're going to need 15 triggers, and for the news channel, you're only going to need 8. Then you just want to set up a button near the TV and set when interacted with transmit on channel 100, and then you're ready to test it out. Just start the game and interact with the button, and now you have a real working TV in Fortnite Creative. That's all I have for this video, but if you want, feel free to check out some of my other videos that are on screen now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay up.